lead a U.S. defense official tell CNN that there are no changes to U.S. counterterror efforts in Yemen. That's a pushback on what Yemeni officials said hours ago. They said that Yemen now wants the U.S. to ask for permission for any future anti-terror ground operations. The same U.S. official said Yemen was notified of the January 29th raid. That raid, of course, killed a U.S. Navy SEAL and more than 20 Yemeni civilians, despite the Yemeni officials saying their country did not know about it. Let's bring in CNN Chief National Security Correspondent Jim Shudo. And Jim, the U.S. and Yemen, they're telling very different stories about what Yemen knew ahead of time and what the U.S. can do now. Who is giving accurate information here? Well, clearly, Jake, some Yemeni officials and leaders were upset with the results of this raid. It's natural. There were a number, perhaps as many as two dozen civilian casualties. Some of them were children. The images of the civilian casualties circulating across the Internet in their country and around the world. So they have understandable political pressure at home to complain about this. But we're told that they have not suspended any operations or programs, counterterror programs with the U.S., though perhaps they are reminding their U.S. partners that they need to be consulted in advance. Tonight, Yemen condemning the deadly U.S. raid on an AQAP compound last month. Yemeni officials tell CNN it is now requesting that all future U.S. operations come only with the approval of the Yemeni government. It has a government that has cooperated with us in the sharing of intelligence, allowing missions to come in, drone strikes uh, by the United States in their country so that we could help them and help us minimize the terror threat. Uh, and that is a cooperation that is now at risk. A U.S. defense official tells CNN that, quote, nothing has changed in the relationship and that Yemen officials were notified ahead of the January 29th raid. The assault left U.S. Navy SEAL William Ryan Owens and some two dozen Yemeni civilians dead, among them an eight-year-old girl who was the daughter of an American-born terrorist Anwar al awlaki Today, Senator John McCain, who chairs the Senate Armed Services Committee, raised hard questions about the raid, saying in a statement, quote, while many of the objectives of the recent raid in Yemen were met, I would not describe any operation that results in the loss of American life as a success. White House spokesman Sean Spicer immediately demanded an apology from McCain. It's absolutely a success. And I think anyone who would suggest it's not a success does disservice to the life of Chief Ryan Owens. Though just last week, he seemed to echo Senator McCain's words. You never want to call something a success 100% when someone's hurt or killed. And that was the case here. AQAP's leader, Qasem al Rimi, now is taunting the U.S. in a new audio recording. The new fool of the White House received a painful slap across his face by your own hands and upon your own land. Yemen's criticism of the raid comes as the country is included on a list of countries whose people are temporarily banned from entering the United States, with potentially damaging effects on a key U.S. counterterror partnership. Between the executive order and then 24 hours later, a failed raid uh, in Yemen, it just became unsustainable for the country to essentially cooperate with the United States anymore. And that's a long-term impact of the executive order, whether it survives in court or not. Keep in mind that many Yemeni officials, government officials, might have visas themselves, their family members, visas to the U.S., dual nationality in the U.S., etc. So that there's a personal element to this peak at this travel ban, being included on this travel ban list. And Jake, I, I know you've heard it, I've heard it as well. This has been one of the concerns you hear from uh, military commanders in the region, diplomats, counterterror officials, about how the ban might affect those key relationships in the region as you are trying to jointly fight these terror groups. That's right. Jim Shudo, thank you so much.